NASA has celebrated a great victory as its spacecraft, Juno, finally reached Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. After a five-year trek, the probe finally began orbiting the fifth rock from the Sun on its one billion euro mission to measure the amount of water in the atmosphere while investigating the planet's origins. It has the strongest magnetic field. It's spinning the fastest. It has the strongest gravity field. It has the most intense radiation. And we're flying the fastest of any spacecraft, and we're carrying these giant solar rays uh, spinning. The immense gravity exerted by Jupiter's sheer size is thought to have helped shield Earth from bombardment by comets and asteroids. Jupiter is this huge planet a thousand times the size of the Earth, but it actually spins on its axis once every nine hours. So there's a giant magnetic field that gets whipped around, and it's sort of like operating a, a spacecraft inside a particle accelerator. Had Jupiter been about 80 times more massive, it would have actually become a star instead of a planet. We have instruments that are going to be able to see hundreds of miles down into the atmosphere. And then both with studying the magnetic field and the gravity of Jupiter, we actually hope to probe what the interior is like. Is there a solid core or is Jupiter more like a star that doesn't have a solid core? We're also going to be looking at very specific chemistry of Jupiter, the amount of water, different elements that will tell us about how Jupiter formed and what our solar system was like billions of years ago. On its final orbit, Juno will dive into Jupiter's atmosphere, where it will be crushed and vaporized. Jupiter is almost like its own little sun with its solar system. It has major moons. Some of these moons even have liquid water oceans underneath shells of ice. Juno's demise is designed to prevent any hitchhiking microbes from Earth from contaminating Jupiter's ocean-bearing moon Europa, a target of future study for extraterrestrial life.